In December 2016, an article appeared that SBS would kick off Kim Jong-guk and Sung Jio from Running Man, and Kong Ho Dong would be replaced in Running Man. At that time, the public opinion was not good due to Gary's exit from Running Man. As a result, there was more backlash immediately after this news were published. When it became known that Kim Jong-guk had been unilaterally informed of his leaving, and that Song Jio only found out about her leaving after the article was published, public criticism only increased more. And finally, there was talk of a permanent end for Running Man, but thanks to the huge fandom abroad, it never came to that. At this point in time, Korean public opinion about Running Man was at its lowest point because of these incidents, and Jun Summon was the one who saved this Running Man. Today we will look at the story from the career of Jun Summon together. Jun Summon who dreamed of working in a flower shop in her youth, got her second year in high school as a magazine model. And when she was in third year of high school, she made her debut on an MBC sitcom named Miracle in 2004. Jun Summon made her debut in 2004 and appeared in more than 30 dramas and films, but did not show any notable performances for 10 years. She spent 10 years as an unnamed actress and worked part-time in a cafe due to financial difficulties. Jun Summon is said to have been very stressed by this situation, because unlike her friends who enjoyed their life or got married, she had achieved nothing for 10 years. She once spoke of the sad experiences she had during her 10 years as an unnamed actress. When I had a blooper, the director hit me on the head. So I hit myself on the head when I had a blooper. But as the director noticed this, he only hit me harder on my head. I had to move the heavy equipment myself and even tried to run away in a taxi because it was just too hard. But I couldn't escape because the director caught me. And in the end, what we filmed wasn't broadcast, so I wasn't even paid for it. When people heard the experience from her unknown days, many of them were shocked by it. Jun Summon, who had a hard living her life as a nameless actress for about 10 years, got her big chance after all. In 2013, she was cast as the main character in the MBC drama, Princess Aurora with a competitive odds of 1000 to 1. And this was the moment when the public first realized the existence of Jun Summon. Jun Summon left one of the most incomprehensible lines in Korean drama history, such as, cancer cells are life too. Or my ex-husband, my husband and I, three people can live together in the same house. And Princess Aurora had the highest ratings with 20%, and Jun Summon won the Rookie of the Year award for the MBC drama in 2013, ending her long existence as an unnamed actress after 10 years. However, after the role of Princess Aurora, in which she played a villain gained a lot of attention. And that's why Jun Summon again had a hard time as an actress again, because her performance in other roles received very little attention. And only then did she get another chance that changed Jun Soman's life. On April 16, 2017, Jun Soman joined Running Man with Yang Se Chan. Jun Chul Min, producer of Running Man, explained the reason for the two of them being recruited. At first, situational plays and various characters were popular in Running Man, but at some point Running Man's view ratings began to decline. After investigating the image of Running Man, there were many responses that Running Man was a childish teenage program that was often manipulated. That's why I recruited Jun Summon and Yang Se Chan together. However, in her early days after joining Running Man, Jun Summon had to grapple with very negative public opinion. Running Man, which had aired for seven years at the time, was already very popular all over the world. And since the fans didn't know Jun Summon, they didn't initially accept her role either. Despite the worldwide criticism that she received, and the fact that she was criticized in Korea too, Jun Summon overcame it all and fitted in well in Running Man. After all, when Jun Summon joined Running Man in 2017, the view ratings went to double digits from one digit, and thereafter got the evaluation that Jun Summon's joining was the best choice for Running Man. This is how the Koreans said at that time. I stopped watching Running Man at some point, but I'm starting to watch again because of Jun Summon. If Lee Kwang Su was a stroke of genius in the first half of Running Man, Jun Summon is another stroke of genius in the second half. From the first day of shooting, Jun Summon earned the nickname Dalsamine by saying, I heard people hear bells ringing on their first kiss, but I only remember the smell of saliva. 
The same year she joined Running Man, she won the 2017 Rookie Award in the Variety category at SBS, for showing off her open charm and not being afraid to openly show her personality too, even though she is an actress. And the following year 2018, she won the SBS Top Excellence Award. She voted the 491st Flying Chair episodes for her best scene. She said she didn't have a hint at the time, so she fell into the water with her stomach side not her back, and did end up with bruises. I had a stomach ache from it for a while, but if I could do it again I think I could do it better this time. She is a very talkative person that even Yu Jae Suk cannot handle. Once, Jun So Min's younger brother showed up at Running Man and talked about his very talkative sister Jun So Min and his family. My family is so talkative that nobody presses the button in an elevator, because everyone is busy with talking. Usually when people talk to each other they communicate with each other. But we all just talk at once and say whatever we want, so it's like turning on a few radios. Because of this Jun So Min got another nickname in Running Man which is, Hell of Talk. In Running Man episode 370, Lee Kwang Su who was sitting next to Jun Summon on a plane, couldn't get a wink of sleep and played games with her because she talked incessantly. Lee Kwang Su said afterward, I couldn't get a wink of sleep on the plane because of you. I even got a nosebleed when I washed my face in the bathroom, my ears are bleeding too. Indicating that she was very, very talkative. Jun Summon has various nicknames, but the representative ones are the female version of Lee Kwang Su and Dalsameen. A combination of Do Lai and Jun Summon. Among the various special abilities of Jun Summon, the most amazing one is that her body acts like a magnet. Spoons, ladles and coins stick to Jun Summon's forehead as if a magnet had been stick on her, which earned her the nickname, Magnet Human. In Running Man, she even performed Sai's new face dance, with a spoon stuck to her skin from forehead to chin. At the time, Lee Kwang Su said to her, I really don't want to see this. I'm going to give you $20, so stop right now, is there a crazy folks festival today? And this makes people laugh. In her 20s, Jun Summon loved alcohol so much that even her boyfriend left her because of this. She can drink about three bottles of soju, and her favorite thing is to drink alcohol at a table, in front of a convenience store around spring or fall. But she doesn't like beer. I don't like beer because I don't get drunk no matter how much beer I drink. So if I drink beer, I should drink until morning. And her habits when she's drunk are known to be bad. She said about herself. When I was younger, I would call my ex-boyfriend, or road swing in the playground while drunk and even sleep on the slide. That was really dangerous behavior back then. Lee Kwang Su and actress Lim Su Yong, who drank with Jun Summon once stated that, when she was drunk she behaved like a defiant child, crying, punching and kicking others. The drinking habit of Jun So Min's are very bad. Very, very bad. Never make eye contact with a drunken Jun Summon. There was even a time when we would drink with Jun Summon and then run away at 3 a.m. in the morning. Jun Summon published a book in January 2020, entitled You Can Call Me After You've Had a Drink. And that gave her the nickname Jun Jackka, which means writer Jun. She explained that it is a collection of essays to unite the feelings she has felt in her life. On her Instagram account, she also expresses her poetic side in emotional posts with pictures. Even now, all the sounds are constantly engraved in time. Spring doesn't come with the seasons change. But when I love someone, and I'm in that person's world, then it's real spring. But the Running Man members don't understand what she's writing and neither do they try it. Kim Jong-gook once left a comment saying, what are you talking about, and called Jun Summon a mad poet. But she doesn't seem to mind it. Jun Summon has been criticized for her lacking visual nature as an actress, and on the recommendation of her agency, she considered plastic surgery. Eventually after much deliberation, she went to the hospital, but after hearing the estimated price of $23,000, she ran away in horror. At the time, the agencies and directors most often recommend surgery on areas such as the nose and chest. Jun Summon remembered that time and said, I was young back then and ran away in fear, but now I regret not having had an operation. This video was filmed and published by the Korean YouTuber, K. Guri Chong. In 2019, at the fan signing event, a fan gave a painting he had drawn for Jun Summon, whereupon she smiled and her face beamed with happiness. 
and Junsumen, who then learned that the fan who gave her the painting was deaf, made the sign language, I love you. She also got up and hugged him warmly and thanked him again in sign language. However, Junsumen shed tears as she spoke to the lady behind that male fan. The woman was the mother of this young man, so she just cried more, hugged his mother and thanked her too. Right now, this video has received 280,000 views and endless praise for her warm and sincere personality. The Running Man production team once made a statement about Junsumen's real personality. She is like the youngest, charming and happy daughter. She behaves the same way in real life as it does on the show. She's an honest and pure person. Before she came to Running Man, I had the opportunity to film with her. After we shot together, I thought I should definitely recruit her if I got the chance. She is a person who can empathize with anyone. Junsumen is a jewel of a person. Junsumen once said that, she felt the limits of acting when the depressing times after Princess Aurora, her first lead role, appeared for another four long years after, she had already spent a decade like that. I came across the program called Running Man, when I was going through a really tough time. Running Man was a new starting point for me. It was my job to have fun without thinking about it. I like to be honest. Not everyone likes me, but I believe that one day they may understand my real intent and change their minds. Junsumen joined Running Man in 2017, and won the SBS Rookie of the Year Award that same year, and then the SBS Top Excellence Award in 2018. It was an enormous achievement to simply skip the Best Award, and win the Top Excellence Award, just one year after receiving the Rookie of the Year Award. Jun Soman's influence in Korea at the time was overwhelming. So, many people said. Even if Jun Soman had won the Top Excellence Award and not the Rookie of the Year Award, it wouldn't be surprising. Jun Soman was once asked, wouldn't the image you get from Running Man affect your image as an actress? And she received a lot of attention for her proud reaction. When I appear in entertainment shows and not just as an actress, I can show a different side of myself depending on the situation. I have discarded many of my concerns about the issue of being limited in my career choices because of my image on entertainment shows. In fact after Running Man, Junsumen escaped her image of the villain role she had in Princess Aurora, and later continued her acting career in various dramas and films. As already briefly mentioned, Junsumen who is aware that not everyone can like her, received hatred from many people. It was first revealed through her younger brother that, Junsumen had suffered considerably from many malicious comments. Junsumen brother revealed on his Instagram in April 2020, some of the malicious comments, which Junsumen had received from foreign fans, and urged people. Please stop, there is too much of this message coming in. Those haters who sent malicious comments, criticized her as a wretched Korean. Get Junsumen out of Running Man, or her family will be cursed forever. Train her brain, and advise Junsumen not to participate in Running Man anymore. These malicious comments are believed to be sent by overseas Running Man fans who write this out of distorted love. It's been a few years since Junsumen came to Running Man. But despite her great performance, there is a foreign fan base who follow the motto, seven original members of Running Man from 2012, and only see them as real Running Man members. Since then, Running Man's production team has closed its viewers' bulletin boards for indiscriminate abuse, excessive slander, and malicious comments against its members. Just two months after the malicious comments on Junsumen became known, she was suspended from filming Running Man for about a month, and was hospitalized for sudden deterioration in her health and excessive stress. However, that was not the end. Due to episode 525 of Running Man which aired in October 2020, Junsumen received enormously malicious comments from Blackpink fans. Blackpink performed their new song Lovesick Girls, and Junsumen danced with them back then. However, foreign internet users criticized Junsumen for ruining Blackpink's stage performance, and for deliberately stepping on Jenny's foot. Also, there were many malicious comments made about her for having an in-game fight with Songjio, and kicking Jisoo during the mission. As a result, some Korean fans criticized foreign fans who criticized Junsumen, and an argument ensued. Unfortunately, the more attention and fame she gained, the more hatred she had to meet. Most people think that Junsumen height is not very tall because of her cute face, but in fact, Junsumen is quite tall. 
Jensumin stated that she is 169.7 cm tall, but added that she did not like her tall height. My complex in as I'm too tall. In a melodrama, I want to be hugged by the male actor right away, but I look so huge because I'm too tall. Jensumin said in an interview that her role model is Yoo Jae Suk, with expressed her deep respect and love for him. There is so much to learn from Jae Suk Opa. It is my wish, my embarrassing wish to become like him. Yu Jae Suk was also a secret helper, who got Jun Summon to join the Running Man team. Yu Jae Suk who filmed Happy Together, and Same Bed Different Dreams with Jun Summon, was impressed from her broadcaster skills. That is why he strongly recommended Jun Summon, as a new member of the Running Man PD. Thanks to Yu Jae Suk's recommendation, the two perform well together not only in Running Man, but also in the entertainment show, Sixth Sense. The scene where Lee Kwang Su takes the food out of Jun So Min's mouth is truly famous. The two tease each other over and over again, such as, you're a real crazy, or you can't do anything but grow up. And they work in the same agency, King Kong by Starship. Jun So Min was also the one who gave Lee Sun Bin, Lee Kwang Su's number, which helped them to do date. She once said that, Lee Kwang Su is a great help when doing something difficult on air. Kwang Su is the only person I can share my concerns about acting, work, and life with. He is a very helpful person who is always there when I go through difficult times. She once told of her ideal male type, a man with dark skin and small eyes and a manly personality. People thought of Gary, but she chose K. Will as her ideal type. And as many know, Jun Summon mimes a love affair with Yang Se Chan in Running Man. Yang Se Chan and Jun Summon, who joined Running Man together, are very close to each other. Yang Se Chan is known to have once drank with Jun Summon's parents, and Jun Summon's mother likes Yang Se Chan so much that she wants to make him her son-in-law. In Korea, it is rare for friends to drink with the parents of friends unless they are genuinely close. Jun Summon also jokingly told him, if we can't get married within three years, let's get married after that. She even said that, she had economic plans that could make life with Yang Se Chan possible for the next 15 years, without hiding her feelings towards him. And Yang Se Chan also seems to be very fond of Jun Summon. Therefore, a lot of attention is paid to the two to see, if those two are just a business couple, like the Monday couple, Gary and Sangjio. Charming actress Jun Summon said, her dream was to be, and become a good actress, good friend, and good person, in the future. Jun Summon who wants to be a better person said, in the future, I would like to hear from someone that he or she wants to be like Jun Summon one day. Many fans would like to see how she grows and thereby to see a new, different side of Jun Summon, not only in entertainment but also in films and dramas. I'm already looking forward to the day, when Lee Kwang Soo and Jun Summon will appear together in films or dramas.